Let's go. We are on a 9 a.m. schedule. It's a Sunday today, 8.30 in the morning, and we have arrived here in Joy Bus Genesis Edsa Terminal. This one. That's 8 a.m. For those who are looking to book their Joy Bus online, you can visit www.iwantseats.com to make your reservations. They have point-to-point uh, -point bus schedules running from 7 a.m. to 4 a.m. round the clock. For online bookings, you can make your payments via GCash or bank transfer. Once you send this, you'll receive a confirmation email and make sure you print this out. You're going to need a hard copy to present in the ticketing booth in EDSA Terminal. We have arrived in the city of Pines. It's uh, now 1 p.m. So that was about four hours of road trip. Yeah, Banda Session Road. Dun sa location. Sarado yung Session Road. Ngayon kasi may ano, festival, no? Hindi, lagi-lagi yan. There, it actually says right there, Cedar Peak. Fifth floor, you know me. Five, five, one, nine. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, people. Welcome to Cedar Peak. Uh, so this will basically be our home for the next four days while we explore the city. Um, we, re we made reservations for this one via booking.com. It was pretty last minute and there's a festival going on here in Baguio right now called Panagbenga. So yeah, I guess we're pretty lucky on getting a room here in Session Road considering that it's their busy month. Okay, we are here in Burnham Park at the moment and not surprisingly, there are quite a lot of people. It's a Sunday today and so this was kind of expected as this is really the go-to place for a lot of locals and tourists to spend their pastime. And this place was designed by an American architect from Chicago in 1904. His name was Daniel Burnham and this place was given the name the heart of Baguio City. famous strawberry taho Today we will be exploring some of the famous tourist spots. Not in particular order, but we plan to visit Tam Awan Village, the Igorot Stone Kingdom, a couple of museums maybe. Then if we have enough time, we'll probably go to the Baguio Night Market. Picture, but it's in the lobby, not in the lobby. It's in the lobby. 
Okay, so we first decided that we're heading off to the Igorot Stone Kingdom. Supposedly, this attraction is a six hectare area showing masonry skills of the Cordillerans. However, last November 2022, about three months ago, this place was ordered to be closed. Those who are looking to visit this place, um, this is basically all you got. Just the parking area. They, uh, the area didn't have permits and uh, they were hit with a safety feature, so they were ordered close. So I guess from here, we'll just go back to Tamawan village. Our ride is waiting. What do you think? Let's head back to Tamawan. Sure. Na, Tam Ay, na pala. Okay. Video, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> How much is it? 120 per um, okay. Dalawa na tayo. Thank you. Okay, so we are now in Tam Awan village. We visited this place to get a good idea and learn about the culture and the origins of the Igorots. They have a no cemetery of negativism, totem pole, Lahat dito. history trail, and bell amphitheater. Yeah, yeah. I think it's all walking distance. Yeah, no, they have signs. Yellow trail hike there. What's it called? Yellow trail hike. Then bell house. How much was the entrance there? Thank you. How much was it? per person and then basically you can use the whole thing yeah except the bell house though okay currently i am standing in front of the bell house um the bell house uh was the original vacation home of the commanding general of the philippines it was named after general franklin bell who was credited in transforming camp john hay into a famous or amongst them a military resort they're having a meeting inside so hopefully when you guys come to visit um, you'll be uh, you'll be able to enter and see the inside of the house but yeah this is the entrance and it says restricted area do not enter okay I don't know where this is heading but I'm just following this trail of these steps Okay, I'm gonna go to the door because you want to do a photo shoot. So there's a ride, but it's not operational. If you're above me, you see cable cars. A lot of uh, American soldiers used to come here, use this place as their getaway for relaxation, given that the weather is much cooler. So they would usually come here to heal physically and mentally. You can see all the pine trees and just the nice uh, atmosphere, nice climate, cool weather. I tried to make strawberry and ube, naman. Fifty dollars. Our cabs here. Alright, view park. Okay, so we are now here in Mines View Park. One of the places to visit when you're in Baguio. Gold, silver, and copper were once quarried here. This place used to be a mining for a mining area for local diggers. And that was before the Americans discovered the place. But you know it's not healthy. Look at the horse. Look at that horse. What? It's not good. Thank you. 
So we have one here that doesn't recommend it. This place got famous because of its scenic uh, mountain and forest views. Um, so if you guys are like me and you love taking Instagrammable photos, make your way here. You guys will also be able to take photos with St. Bernard's and the nice little pony with red hair. Good morning everyone. We are now on our third day here in Baguio City and yes, we've visited some great spots already. Uh, we've learned a lot of history and we have discovered the wonderful culture of the locals here. So let's explore today more attractions. And oh, by the way, if you guys are looking for um, restaurants to try here while in Baguio City. I'll put a link uh, below so you guys can check out the video I made of the restaurants that we've tried here. We said that we wanted to go to Wright Park but our cab driver dropped us off in Botanical Garden instead and now we have to walk about I don't know that's like 500 meters but we are now here we're walking towards Wright Park. What kind of 200. Let's see if. Oh, uh huh. <laughs> it's pretty cool, yeah. I think I'm gonna get it. What are you doing? What So I had just purchased this hat. And as you can see, I'm gonna vlog with my new hairstyle right now. Okay, so we are now here in Wright Park. So this park is named after Governor Wright. Um, he was the one who ordered architect Burnham to develop parks for American soldiers and local people. Uh, hence the name Burnham Park and Wright Park. There's no entrance fee here. You can simply walk in, enjoy peaceful surroundings. Okay, take photos, go horseback riding. Like as you saw earlier, there's a bunch of horses down there, you know. A lot of kids really enjoy doing that horseback riding and they actually mistake the name from Wright Park to Ride Park. Did you want to go ri ride the horse? No. We have arrived here at Baguio Botanical Garden. I know they used to call this place Baguio Botanical and Zoological Garden, but they had switched it because there's no more animals inside. Tourists, adults. So there's a hundred pesos. So we are now in the Botanical Garden of Baguio, and as soon as you enter this place, you get a really quiet and serene except for that lady over there serene atmosphere it's a big park with uh, lots of area so you're gonna do a lot of walking it's rather large and yes you'll do a lot of walking but there's plenty of flowers plenty of plants so if you are a plant lover like me you're gonna enjoy this place I'm not sure guys if this is the plant that's yeah. called <laughs> Go ahead. angels trumpet my brother-in-law once told me that if you boil this stuff and drink it like tea mm. oh man it's like a crazy hallucinogen so it looks like this it's, it's called angel's trumpet this actually just grows in but this uh, is not angel's trumpet it's not it is Your angel's trumpet and it's kind of white i don't know you want to take some home make it into a tea and hallucinate like hell it's a bee, yeah. okay see the bees hallucinating thinks it's in disneyland this whole land that you can see right here is uh, owned by the Philippine government and it was reportedly a zoo before. They removed all the animals. In 2019, uh, before the pandemic, the Avalon Wildlife Foundation was planning on rebuilding and rehabilitating the zoo or restoring the zoo uh, in this botanical garden. So I guess we will see what transpires in the months ahead. Um, what do you guys think? Should they uh, restore the zoo? Or should they just keep it as a botanical garden? Comment your thoughts below. Here we 
we are now here at the Bamboo Sanctuary. Uh, it's probably one of our last stops. Uh, the sun's about to go down, so we're just gonna capture how it's like here. It's all bamboos. It's a lot of mosquitoes too. So I brought my off lotion. I came prepared. We got a jeepney going down because there's no taxis available. We're sitting in the front VIP style. Okay, this is our last day here. We have a bus ride at 4 p.m. Um, Genesis going back to Manila. So we are checking out now and we will see you guys back in Manila. All right, before heading home, we decided to stop by the Baguio Museum. Uh, it's just a small museum displaying artifacts of lives of the local people here, indigenous people here in Baguio City. So right behind me is the Baguio Museum and we're just gonna go check it out. I'll let you guys know how much the entrance fee is and their opening and closing times in a second. No. Just registered. You have a pen? Okay. So basically it's showcasing the ways and lives of local people or the ignorance. What's up guys, uh, we are now back in BGC. Um, thank you guys for watching and thank you for following our trip in Baguio. We hope you guys liked it. Please follow us again on our next videos and stay tuned, subscribe if you guys like. We'll be posting more videos from time to time. Thanks.